All right. Good morning, everybody. Happy to, uh, was it today is the last day of the pay period, right? February 28th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Just want to move a couple of things over here. All right. Good, 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 good to see you. Dave, Jason, Wayne, Deb, good to see you. Gene, Anthony, good to see you. Frank, Neil, Todd, Vince, Wayne, Rick, Ray, all of you guys, friend. All right. Good morning, everybody. Well, um, I'm back from... Um, from uh, yesterday from New York City, uh, pretty good. Um, had a couple of nice little meetings. Um, just to let you know, I am going to be coming out with a, uh, a a second edition of my book that's coming out. I met with Wiley, the uh, publisher, and uh, we're going to be uh, tweaking up a little bit, so I look forward to doing that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to add some Fausto flags. I'm going to add some, you know, pre-market trading to it. I'm going to be adding, you know, what, what's, you know, obviously – Things have evolved in the past, what's been, uh, you know, a few years. It's been a while. So a lot of good stuff. So we'll let you guys know when that new book, new cover, which is going to be nice. Um, we're going to try to keep it short. You know, like I said, the whole purpose of, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not, I know a lot of people like to read books, but, you know, I, I don't understand why people come out with these 500,000 page books. Remember, books don't talk back to you. So, but what's nice about it, if you get right to the point, one thing I always get tell pe people always tell me they love about my book, it's a very fast read. And you usually read about two, three times. And usually when you read the second time, it's that, you know, it's that good uh, for you to really understand what's going on. So we'll let you guys know when the guys come out. Looking forward to it. Uh, Kind of does. <laughs> uh, you put got me uh, to take your class, Mark. Well, thank. Well, once again, Mark. You know, you know, let me just. I'll just be honest with you. I was never a fan to write a book. It's a lot of work to write a book. I don't know how people have the time to write a book, but um, I was getting um, Wiley, uh, the publishing company, says Fausto. You know, we haven't had a day trading book in over. You know, since the Sos Bandit book that came out over 20 years ago, and and you know, being the you know one of the pioneers and godfathers back who started, you know, you know, one of the last Mohegans back then. And, uh, you know, they've been harassed me for about five, six years. So finally I did it, but it's nice. Now I'm an author, which is great. And I get, you know, that's a lot of credibility, you know, uh, you know just to let everybody know it is, a, it is a, to have somebody as prestigious of a, of a, of a published company to, to anyone can write their own book. Right. But to have somebody do that, that is obviously gives you a lot of credibility. Um, you know, and respect in the industry and for traders too, you know, listen, you know, a lot of you out there want to go out there. You don't know who to trust when it comes to education. You're like, who, this guy's pointing his course, this guy's pointing this and that. And how do, who do you need to trust? And, you know, once again, thanks for everyone uh, supporting CTU and, and uh, we'll let you know when it's ready to come out published. All right, guys, let's talk about some stocks that move pretty well. Listen, what is today, everybody? What's today's date? What do, we, what do we know about today? Exactly. It's the last day of the pay period, okay? Remember, it's a very, very short month. There's only 28 days, uh, but remember, it is the last day of the pay period. We had a very, very, uh, you know, very good month. Um, actually, I, I will tell you, January, that was a lot better, and December was phenomenal. This was a really good, consistent month, and, um, you know, I think it's going to be like this, Going into probably around April, you know, as, as looking at what's going on. So, um, you know, and you could even just see from the market. Let me just bring up the Dow chart right here. You could basically see here on the, the uh, you know, what's been happening <laughs> in, since February is what I'm really talking about. January, you could see we had a nice little rally right there, but then we had a lot of these hiccups going on around here. It's like, what's going on? So that's what I mean by that. But and it wasn't a lot of brand name stocks, uh, I mean, a lot of big percentage gainers to trade off. But uh, Ben said, what are, you, what are you saying, Lee? Lee says, last day, the first quarter, okay? It's not a leap year. No, it's not, Ted. All right, so let's let's talk about what happened yesterday. We had a couple of things that did make some moves. And uh, like anything else, I tell you guys, I, I was I had to, you know, go to the city, so – uh, to go meet uh, at, at, this, uh, go at the expo that was going on in New York. And a lot of people always asking me, and that's going to be part of my book too, about the pre-market. I just traded pre-market, made my money, and that was it. One thing, and it was great. People are like, wow, you're done already? You know, like you don't trade all day? I'm like, that's what trading's all about. Once you know how to play the game, 
that's about it. You make your day's pay, and that's it. So there was a couple of stocks I know um, jo the staff and Josh was also talking about it, but let's talk about a few of them. A uh, a AKRX, that was a great short, and you could see it stock went from $30 all the way down to about 17 You could see what happened yesterday, did a little shake, but you could see, you know, I could just tell you right there, great. I know a lot of you guys got the stock in the short. Going into the afternoon, great short after 2.30, boom, 19 all the way down to 18 nice little buck move. You know, you don't have to hit home runs, but that's uh, what it is what it is. Uh, JC Penny, JCP. So I know we talked a lot about a, a lot of the – Brick and mortars, J.C. Penney, Macy's, you know, Kohl's, they were all like uh, moving yesterday. So anyway, I want to do a really big shout out. But um, but Ben, okay, Ben made thirty cents on this stock right here. Now, thirty cents is not a lot, but when you trade fifteen thousand shares, let's give him a round of applause, right, Ben? There you go. It's only numbers. It's only numbers. Listen, if you can't trade one share, how are you going to trade 15,000? So, you know, when it comes to trading, that's what, that's what it's all about. You've got to know how to play the game, and eventually you'll know how to trade 1,000. You'll know when to trade 5. You'll know when to trade 10. And believe me, it's not a lot of, you know, you don't look at it as in shares. We look at it as a in points. That's how we kind of more or less trade. That's why in the trading room, we don't go out there and brag and say, oh, you know, I made you know, $700 or I made 3000 You always hear, it's all about points. You know, we don't, we, want, we don't want to discourage anybody. They're like, oh, he made more money than me and this person. It's all about, you know, we, we all try to stick to that point schedule, what we teach you in class, because that is what shows you, okay, well, you know what? It's, it, it, it's, it's what we focus on. That's our goal to make it. All you're doing is trading more shares. You just got to make sure you got the liquidity out there. A couple of the stocks did pretty well. Want to hit this out pretty quick. You had the Micron Technology that did pretty well also. That was pretty good. The um, I think I said this one. No, I didn't. MNK, that one also. Great pop right at the open. Went from 18 to about 22. All right. Not bad, right? My, you can see the great short there on um, – it gapped up pretty big. I don't know what was up with that, but Macy's just tanked from 31 down to 28. That was one of the morning – that was on our morning watch list. And obviously, Kohl's, that was a great short, 69 all the way down to like 65. Look at that. That's, that's like trading at its best. You know, that, that's, what we, that's what we train for. Look at that. You're done at 11 o'clock. Even if you missed it when we called it in pre-market and you chased it at like 10 o'clock – you know, you didn't get the short right there. Once it broke that, once it broke that 6854, boom. Listen, you made yourself a buck that's more than enough. But uh, a little bit more of an advanced stock for some of us. All right. So that's that. Um, let me see what else I had here I want to talk to. Her. Um, so anyway, a couple of things I do want to point out, too, is that also – Yesterday, uh, we did go over Traders Talk. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed Every guys enjoyed it. Enjoy Traders Talk with uh, Traders Talk with Josh. I know you went over the you know that the um, the Macy's trade, and uh, you know a few of you made some money on it during that Traders Talk meeting. You showed a little bit, like Paul saw that trade, and they gave me like thirty bucks on it. Was pretty fun, you know, as a beginner trader. So it was great. All right, let's get right into the action, guys. Let's see what's going on this morning. It was excellent. Always, Wayne. Fantastic as always. Excellent, Jonathan. Yep. Good, 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 good. Listen, remember what I always tell you guys. Here at Cyber Trade University, there's two rooms. Okay, there's the trading room and then there's the teaching room. You got to learn how to trade first to make sure it's for you. And those classes, like I said, that's where you spend most of your time, 80% of your time. If it's the recordings, if it's the quizzes or the, you know, the, the workshops. Being here in the trading room, you know, people are asking me at the expo yesterday, Fausto, you know, how long I got to be in the trading room? I don't have time. I'm like, listen, you want to have like 30 minutes? Just be there at the most volatile time. It's like, you know, don't miss that train and you'll be fine. All right, so let's go through some watch lists because some of you guys have been trading. This stock's been doing phenomenal. This NIHD, a lot of you guys remember the stock. It was at 50 cents. Now finally he's breaking out of the dollar shell right there, up 28%, 1.5 million shares already traded. It's got a good spread right here. If I change that chart to an intraday, you could see that. Once again, 8.30, early bird gets a worm. Most of you should have been in here at about a buck 32. You're doing great. It's got a nice little push into it. That one's uh, biggest percentage gainer as of right now. 
TCB looks like a buyout, so that's going to be a scratch right there. We got a little gap up trade right here with the XXAAXN. Not really a fan of it. You know, a little bit on the expensive side. It's gapped up. It's breaking lower. You know, it's gapped up and it's trending down just like ETSY. Same thing, you know. Uh, what else we got here? The, e, the ENPH, a little bit better. It's got a little bit of a push right here. It's trading at the highs. It's up 12%, 85,000 shares traded. It's going to probably test those resistance levels back in November, early December. It's holding there pretty strong. So ENPH, a lot of you remember this back in November. We traded, went from a buck fifty to $3. So a uh, nice little cheapy right there. This one also, I like this one a lot. This one looks pretty cool right here. This um, E, see, what's with all the E's, by the way? <laughs> so, so many E's. Stocks start with E's. I don't know, those big percentage gainers list. So here's stock breaking higher highs, $4.30 up to 466 Stock's been having a nice little push. It's not only been a very good day trade, it's been a good swing trade. Now, this stock back in October, a lot of you should have this in your journals. Go back, check how you traded it. But some of you remember, we traded the stock went from a dollar, it went to seven. So we do, we do know the stock moves, but you want to make sure. What did the traps look like? What did the shakes look like? You know, what did the iceberg orders look at like? So go back and check your ECTY trade when you, if you were here at Cybertrain University back in October to see how you did. This stock is an IPO. Uh, oh, no, this is a test stock. This is a test stock. $2,000 stock. That's what that is. All right, so gainers on the NASDAQ is done. Hopping over here on the losers. You, you're getting a little bit of a dead cat bounce over here on this uh, FTP right here. I don't know. You can see it's at support levels. You know, it's testing it, but I don't know. We'll put it on the watch list just in case. It's not really my our cup of tea right here. There's the warrant. And uh, that does it for NASDAQ. Hopping over here into New York. PPH, up two bucks. Nice little spread. Kind of flat in the pre-market. So I kind of scratched that. TJX, nice little push. Breaking higher highs, gapped up right at a 930, went from 77 to 84. Breaking 52-week highs, I like that one a lot, but to trade an $83 stock, guys, unless you're one of my $1,000 day traders in this position, stay away from it. Uh, this one is literally making me fall off my chair. I still can't. We were trading Weight Watchers, and listen, we all know, got to be a good day trader, be a good swing trader. Weight Watchers, <laughs> I, you know, I, this has to be one of the biggest sleepers in the market. really has. You don't hear people talking about it. I don't know why the stock at $75 other than Oprah bought into it. And uh, when she did, it tanked. That was last year. A lot of you guys remember that. I mean, this stock was all the way down to the – it was all the way down to $3. I remember we were trading it down here at 10 My God, it's already at 75 I guess we screwed up on that one, huh? But who, who know? Everyone's always focused on, listen, we make mistakes here also, so who cares, all right? Losers, nothing really there. You know, ELF, I'm not talking about ELF on the shelf, but ELF, down 10%. That's about it. What do we got? We got one, two, three. We got five stocks. Listen, I'm not expecting it to be an exciting day. It's the last day to pay period. A lot of people don't want to, you know... I'll tell you what I do notice is a lot of cops out there giving tickets, you know, trying to meet that quota with cops out there meeting their quota. Traders don't want to blow up and, and ruin their end of the month uh, commissions. So it's, it's the same thing. So if there's something really has a action in it, we'll, we'll, we'll trade it. But, um, but other than that, let's not get too cocky and too crazy today. All right, guys. Uh, Bridget says Oprah effect that, yeah, you know, look, we can call it the Oprah bump, you know, like we have the Trump bump, we got the Oprah bump. And Weight Watchers obviously did that. Maybe she gave everyone brand new cars, you know, who had a, who who was at Weight Watchers and everyone, you know, bought it and who knows. <laughs> but good for Weight Watchers. Congratulations, you know. It's always nice to hear that. Ring was rejected. The short, uh, was, uh, Ring was rejected on Shark Tank. Now gets bought out for one billion dollars by Amazon. You know. Um, well, let me just tell you this, uh, Deb, regarding about getting rejected. Um, Shark Tank still made a lot of money because by them to be advertised on Shark Tank, I think uh, the rule is they still access, they still they have to still sign over. I think one percent of uh, anything because somebody like that would happen, and you know I guess uh, good for them. 
bad for the uh, bad for the sharks, you know. Good for the producers, bad for the the guy the, the people who didn't buy into it and got rejected. All right, guys, so we got a list right here. Let's get ready for the open. Market opens up in less than 10 minutes. I'll get this video posted for all my YouTube fans out there. So um, in the meantime, guys, be, uh, be safe. Let's make some money. And remember, tomorrow uh, we have the uh, open house again. We do it every week, so invite your friends. And uh, like I said, don't get too cocky today, right? Let's try to be safe. See something good? See something? Say something. And hopefully you new trial members here are enjoying the ride. A lot of fun. I heard a lot of you trials did pretty well so far. So you still got a, still got a few more days. You got a lot more to come. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.